Let us join together in a time of prayer. This prayer uses words from and is inspired by the song Stillness, written by Mark Miller, used with permission. So let us pray. I invite you to get into a comfortable position of rest, to get as quiet and as still as you can. I invite you to a deep breath and a deep listening posture as we prepare for a time of prayer. Let us pray. The gentle pull of God is often lost amidst the rush of all the obligations which lay a claim on us. Yet just beyond the frantic pace our restless feet have trod lie deep still pools of quietness, the dwelling place of God. Meet me in the stillness, Lord, be the air I breathe. Meet me in the stillness, Lord, free me to receive. Meet us, Lord, as we continue to worship you in the days ahead. Meet us, Lord, and hear the prayers of those who seek healing. Give comfort and strength to those receiving treatment for cancer. Offer your abiding presence to those living with the coronavirus. Bring your patience upon those waiting surgeries and calm their fears and anxieties. And meet us in the stillness, Lord, be the air we breathe. Meet us in the stillness, Lord, free us to receive. And meet us, Lord, and hear our prayer for those whose hunger has not been met. Give hope to those who are unemployed that things may turn out better yet. And open the hands of those who have an abundance to share, that those in need may find some grace in receiving. And meet us in the stillness, Lord, and be the air we breathe. Meet us in the stillness, Lord, free us to receive. And help us, Lord, to better care for the earth, our home so fair. And give to us a gratitude that dares us to prepare for life of purpose and meaning and caring for this place, these mountains, trees, these birds and bees, and all your creatures and sacred places. Meet us in the stillness, Lord, free us to receive. We dedicate this prayer today to you, Jesus, your Son, who taught us to pray together by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So my friends, receive this benediction on this first Sunday after Christmas. We wait for justice, but we do not wait to work for change. We wait for restored health, but we do not wait to work to heal. We wait for wholeness, but we do not wait to work at binding brokenness. We wait for peace, but we do not wait to work to eliminate hatred. And so go into this day bringing the good news that Christ is born among us and fill the day with messages of hope, love, peace, and joy. And keep that light alive in you that it may spur you on in your work to bring more compassion and love into our world. Amen.